Okay, we're going to get into the weeds a little bit, as a friend of mine said, <laughs> down into the nitty gritty. We're going to talk about erasing with pastel. And let's face it, we are all going to erase at one time or another. I don't do it too often, but you know, there are, are times when I'm going to need to erase. And there's some tools that we can use to do it. It's pretty easy with pastel. Um, it's pretty easy to make. Some, even some big changes if you need to. Of course, it depends on the paper. The, your, your end result with erasing is going to depend on the paper you use. So I'm just going to show you with a couple different kinds of pastel and a couple of different values um, what, what you might expect when you erase. All right, we're going to start with um, new pastel. This is the... the blue spruce that I really love and then I'm going to put it on three different papers. This is Pastel Premier, this is Color Fix, and this is Wallace. So I'm just going to get a little swatch of that on there. All right, now there's some s s tools and my first uh, line of defense I guess with erasing would be a bristle brush. I'm going to use an old bristle brush. This is one that I also would use for um, underpainting. So it's, it's, it's pretty worn out, but it's still pretty good. So the first thing I can do is I can just get the first pass. So I'm in, in this way, I'm kind of just getting that first, those little particles that are really just sitting up there on the top of the paper. But this, this is enough that I could get another layer on there, right, if I wanted to. But before I do that, I'm going to show you a couple other things. So the next thing that I would use is this. This is a cosmetic sponge, a cosmetic wedge. Now, the pan pastel, don't tell the pan pastel people I told you this. You can go to the drugstore and buy a whole big package of these. And it's kind of the same tool as the pan pastel people have in their little kind of expensive um, tool. So you can take this and you see that's going to get a lot, lot more of that material off on all these different papers and it really comes off on the, on the Wallace paper. Now this pastel, this particular color is pretty stainy. It has a kind of stainy quality to it. So there is going to be some residue. So the next thing, if you really, really, really want to get the pastel off your paper, is to get a kneaded eraser, really get it kind of warmed up. You have to really get these going and warmed up. Um, OK, can take this. Oop. I lost it there. Let me get it. So now I'm really down to um, the paper pretty much. I'm still, I still haven't gotten it completely off, but I've certainly and I am in a place on all three surfaces where I can um, easily get more pigment on. Now um, let's let's try that one more time and let's try it with some Terry Ludwig pastel. Okay, this is a lot different kind of pastel, a lot softer, a lot more buttery. And let's just see how much of that, this we can get off. Okay, it's the, the lot more particles. It's a, it's a much softer pastel than a new pastel. And of course, I haven't blended. Now, we'll, we'll try that with blending. But I haven't blended any of these at all. So that means I haven't added the oil of my finger into this mix. All right, so I've got a good portion. I could certainly, see at this point, get, get some pastel over the top, no problem, in all three cases. But I don't want to do that. I want to get it, get it off. All right, so next. I'm going to go ahead and use this same one, same cosmetic sponge. It's fine. You can get these really. You can even wash these out, but you know they're so cheap. I just get more. 
So really, I've got a lot off. And now I've got my kneaded eraser all set to go. It's just about the same amount, isn't it? Maybe even a, maybe even a little bit more. So I've really done a good job of getting that down. Now, the thing I want to um, point out to you is, you know, I'm, I'm removing all this pigment and it's 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 trickling down, and I have this trap here on my easel that's lined with aluminum foil, so that all those particles, they're not getting all over my studio and all making a big mess. They're they're um, they're right here. Now, I want to say that. Doing this, I'm, it, it's not typical for me to remove a whole painting. I might remove a section, or if I'm doing a s small little piece, I might, I might remove most of it. But it's not typical for me to do this on a really large scale, because I really don't want to get those particles airborne um, in, a, in a really big way. But a little section of a painting, um, you know, this is, this is just fine. OK, I hope that helps out and answers some questions. Of course, if you really want to, you can, you can get out a kneaded eraser. I mean, I mean, not a kneaded eraser, a white pearl eraser. And go even further. But um, I find that the, the three tools that I just outlined are, for me, the best.